Hi, I'm Gavin Harrison. I'm going to take you around the drum kit that I'm using on this 2018 King Crimson Tour. And uh, starting, this is my warm-up pad when we're rehearsing. I normally warm up on my little Vic Firth pad. Okay, this is my Porter & Davis BC2. That's the engine. It's a tactile monitoring system. Okay. So I plug the bass drum into it. You probably know this system, right? Yeah. It's mm -hmm. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely without delay. Beautiful. Okay, these are four custom, uh, obviously all the drums are Sona drums, and these are four custom drums, I don't even know what to call them, maybe log drums. They are all 8 inch, and the sizes are, this is 8 by 9, this is 8 by 13, this is 8 by 17, this is 8 by 21 and they all have two heads on and that means you can put a foot pump and I pump some air into one of the drums so you can pump the air into the hole and you can do this uh, so these are this is the fun of having an endorsement is you can ask the company <laughs> to make you custom pieces they made Rather me than drill through it yourself yeah and recently they made me a 20 inch floor tom mm. 20 by 16 floor tom which is amazing anyway so, so it's your whammy pedal. that's my whammy pedal <laughs> i mean guitarists do it all the time so why can't drummers do it why not um this is the nord drum free pad <coughs> and um i have various patches set up for certain parts of the songs this is a really nice thing to do and right on the other side I've got the, the previous thing the Nord Drum 2 with the pad so I have some good possibilities okay the um, the hardware is all Gibraltar hardware um, this is a custom Zildjian symbol this is a 16 inch crash of doom these are five custom bells, some which I made and some which Zildjian made for me. Mm -hmm. This is their new uh, Sweet Crash 20 inch crash. I'm really enjoying playing this. So Th some of the bells are actually the original ones. These you... two are the original oh, ones, mm -hmm. which okay. I made from uh, crash cymbals I had in my, which I'd split, yeah. you know, I'd broken them yeah. here, but the bell was okay. Yeah. So I cut the bell free. Mm -hmm and I really like the sound of them. Originally I made about six or seven and then I showed them to Zildjian and they've made me some other sets and I've got a set in America and I've got a set here and I've got a set at home so they all get mixed up. Um, this is a custom 11 inch Zildjian crash bell. Let's call it a crash bell. This is one of the new A range 17 inch crash with the large bell. Um, this is a 22 inch high definition K ride. Lots of, lots of stick sound on there. Uh, another sweet crash. This is kind of new for me, the sweet crash is. 19 inch sweet crash, 12 inch oriental china trash, and the 22 inch uh, swish knocker. I took the rivets out. Uh, the drums are all Sona drums. Uh, Remo uh, vintage emperors on the first three and then regular emperors on the last two. For some reason, I just mm. wanted a little bit more attack. Okay. Uh, yeah. I, I experimented with them and it just felt a little bit better. Mm -hmm. um, this is a, a 12 inch version of my uh, Protean signature snare that I made with uh, Sona. Yeah. And um, my friend Russ Miller gave me this wonderful, what do they call this, rim? Is it called no rim click? Because, you know, with a 12 inch snare yeah. drum, it's quite hard to get a good cross stick sound. Yeah. yeah. So I, I, I uh, contacted my friend Russ Miller and I said, I know you made this <laughs> wonderful, and he sent me one. What a good guy. Right. Um, this, I just started using this. This mm -hmm. is a little LP yeah. six inch micro snare, just for fun. <laughs> and uh, of course, the Vic Firth. Uh, signature sticks which I'm really really enjoying playing. Uh, the Tama Speed Cobra yeah. pedals. Um, I think that's all the equipment 
I'm what using... skin do you put usually on the bass drum? Sorry? What skin do you usually put on oh, the, the, the bass Oh, the skin drum? on the bass drum is the Power Stroke 3. So it's B3, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I've tried lots of different mm -hmm. skins. I keep coming back mm -hmm. to that one. Mm -hmm. There's something about... It just gives me the right tone, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. Do you tend to stick to the same tom depths usually? Yeah. Yeah, I've had a, a configuration like this for quite a long time. Mm -hmm. The 15, 18, I've only been using for about the last four or five years. Mm -hmm. But um, I found when I had a 14, 16, the 14, I've never found a 14 inch floor tom that didn't sustain too long. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I don't like to put any gel or yeah. any uh, stickers on the, on the, on the drums. Mm -hmm. Inside the floor toms, I've cut a ring and I drop it down inside. Uh, also with a very small amount of uh, cotton wool inside. And I found if you put a bit of, um, this is a bit of Velcro, if you touch the two toms together physically, that can stop some of the ringing. So if you're in a venue where the floor toms are ringing a lot, and it depends if the stage is hollow, or the subs are underneath, it's different every day. Sometimes that can help you a bit, yeah. that they just take a little bit of sustain out of each other. With Because when you put the, you know, the gel and the gaffer tape on the head, it really changes the feel and the tone of the drum, which I don't want to change. Yeah. Good thing I asked you about the toms because I didn't actually notice this felt there. Yeah, you know? that's just a trick I had by mistake. I found it one day. Mm. Um, so yeah, that's all the all the equipment that I think um, it's quite a complicated <laughs> it is. drum set, but we're playing quite complicated, complicated music, music yeah. right? True. So surprisingly, I do need everything you see here, <laughs> <laughs> even though there's three of you. Even though there's three of us, yeah, yeah. yeah we need a very large. Uh, mm large variation you know and as you'll see in a minute Pat has a completely different uh, maybe more percussive angle going on with some of the metallic stuff that he's got which is amazing that's the whole point I suppose not to you know yeah there's no point having the three same, drum right? kits the yeah. same that's why I'm using the 12 inch snare drum mm -hmm. because I wanted a different tone of snare drum to uh, Jeremy and Pat because sometimes we're playing all together and if we've got the same bass drum sound, the same snare drum sound, uh, it doesn't quite work. Yeah. Love the whammy. That's great. Yeah, well, at home, I've actually got seven of these. Uh -huh. So I've got, um, they're all odd sizes. So there's 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, and 21. So I took every other one. and. I bought a few of these uh, whammy pedals and it's fantastic fun to bend the notes on seven different drums. Yeah. But um, for the purposes of what we do here, one, one is enough. Lovely, absolutely lovely. Thanks a lot for this. Great, yeah. Thank you.